Hey everyone, welcome back to another video about Storefront UI Figma. Um, so I know I haven't made a video about the components of Capybara Storefront UI Figma files in a while. Um, there's a lot that's changed within Figma since I made these videos, so I'm just going to make a quick uh, recap video of all of the components that I already made videos for, just showing you how they've been updated. Uh, auto layouts changed, there's been variants introduced, so everything from alerts to, oh, are these not in alphabetical order? Basically, it looks like um, up till add to cart, uh, I'll do a quick recap of what's changed. So starting from arrows, it's mostly the same, but now we also obviously have variants within Figma, which help you when you're using the design system, not so much to the person themselves. Uh, interesting, which one am I supposed to use? Okay, yeah. So now when you use um, an arrow in one of your designs, you have some really handy selectors right here that were previously you'd have to like go into here and find your component. So now there's types, so you can choose your type, you can choose direction, and also change that easily. So you can do faceting and selection much faster. You can change states quickly. So this just makes it really easy to select which arrow you want to use, stuff like that. So also, documentation links have been added right into the Figma file. So if you ever want to go back and see what this arrow actually, like what the developer functions are, easy access. Um, and I think if we inspect this, you can uh, quickly just view documentation right here. Um, yeah, so that's arrows. Nothing else has changed dramatically. Badges, uh, variants have been added. So if we go in here, use a badge. Pretty handy stuff is now you can quickly just flip between full width and not having full width. So this just gives you the freedom to resize however you want and, and not is just going to make it grow and shrink with it. So that's just an update on how just an update on how to do the selection between that. Uh, you still have to select numbers separately. I don't think it made sense to put that as a variant here because I don't know, it just felt like very different use cases, not something you're going to be flipping between very frequently. Uh, breadcrumbs, pretty simple, same thing. Um, for some components, I combined the mobile and desktop views if it made sense. So by default, this loads into desktop, but if you want to pull in the mobile view, uh, you can just toggle it on and off from here. Pretty much what it's always been. Uh, bullets, nothing changed. Buttons got a pretty big overhaul. So I decided to just disable pure buttons because that made no sense. Um, buttons overall have become a lot simpler. Full width buttons no longer exist because um, the way the auto layout works is just a whole lot smoother now. So let me just pull this up over here and show you how buttons work now. Come on, here we go. So previously to change the width of buttons, you had to select full width buttons and you had to style them yourself. Now that's all been updated. So now there's just a toggle on all buttons if you want auto width, I think. And yeah, so I think you can just, uh, so you can toggle auto width on or off. So if you just have something, uh, you can just turn on auto width and works and if you can turn if you want to turn it off you can just turn it off and it becomes flexible so that makes it super easy that you don't have to um, come on you don't have to select a whole different component um, button selection has become really easy you just select whatever type you want auto width now applies to all the styles you don't have to style the auto width the full width button yourself all the states work across everything. So buttons overall have become a lot easier to use at a user level. Um, behind the scenes, the variants remain the same though. So that's nothing much has really changed there. And text buttons, I decided to keep separate because they were a lot simpler. I, didn't, I don't think it makes sense to like flip between text buttons and full size buttons uh, like that. Um, yeah. So that's how buttons work. Uh, these chevron 
pretty much the same thing, but now they're combined into um, one variant, so you can just select what direction you want without having to go into this menu over and over again. Super handy. Um, circle icon, same thing, variants, so... Uh, when you pull this out, you have small toggle and all the different states. So if you want a hover and small, everything's just make super easy to use. Um, color, I don't think I have to go into that, same thing, variants. Um, headings, nothing's changed. Image, I'm going to make a whole different video about because those have changed more than I want to cover in just a little overview video. Um, input has gotten dramatically easier to use as you'd expect so in general inputs I think the scaling was always easy but uh, toggling icons on and off and the different states have become easy to switch between um, so yeah that's just a super easy way to use input labels now uh, price has been combined into one variant so again if you want to use price now you just pull up a single price component and if you want to toggle on discounted you just toggle it on and yeah you can just fill in whatever price you want and I think it should stay yeah it does perfect um, property also super handy to have um, variants in so property you can toggle large on for any of the positions so if you want a full width toggle with large toggle it on like that uh, value in the middle toggle into small or large everything scales super easily so now once again instead of having to choose between six different components you can just choose what variant from the menu uh, yeah same thing for quantity selector pretty straightforward all right, so that's a quick recap, catch up on what's been happening on these components. Uh, hopefully they've become easier to use, and I'll go back into detail about image and address picker and new components like that in future videos. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.